Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Going to be giving you my predicted 11 for Manchester United's game against Leicester City at Old Trafford. So I'm going to go with the usual formation, 4-2-3-1. In goal, David De Gea. David De Gea was in goal in Manchester United's 2-2 draw with Barcelona. At the new camp in the Europa League round of 32 first leg. I thought De Gea made some good saves in that game to deny Lewandowski, Jordi Alba and he made an excellent save to deny Rafinha. But De Gea should have kept out Alonso's goal from that Rafinha corner. At right back, I'm going to go with Diego Dalo. Um, I think he'll come in for Anwan Basaka. Anwan Basaka started against Barcelona. Dalo is Manchester United's first choice right back. Dalo returned from injury not so long ago. He started both games against Leeds. I thought he was poor in both games against Leeds. He was unlucky not to score in the game at Ellen Road because he did hit the crossbar. The two centre-backs, I'm going to go with Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez. Uh, Martinez uh, will come in for Shaw at centre-back. Uh, Shaw, of course, was at centre-back alongside Varane in the game against Barcelona. Shaw was also at centre-back in the game against Leeds at Ellen Road. He was playing alongside Maguire in that game. Shaw's played at centre-back in, like, six games this season. He's done well playing there, even though he's predominantly a left-back. Maguire's an option at centre-half, but, you know, I don't think he'll start this game against Leicester. If he was to play, he'd be reuniting with his former club. Maguire did start um, in the game against Leeds at Ellen Road. It was his first league start since January the 3rd. Lindelof's an option as well, but he won't start. You know, he's a backup centre-half. So, yeah, like I said, I think it'll be Varane Martinez. Left-back, I'm going to go with Luke Shaw. He'll go... Back to left back, so he'll come in for Terrell Malaysia. Uh, don't forget Luke Shaw got the assist for Marcus Rashford's headed goal in the 2 0 win against Leeds at Ellen Road. Shaw is still Man United's first choice left back, even though we brought Terrell Malaysia in. The two centre midfielders. Uh, I'm going to go with Fred and Sabitzer. Well, they're the only options. Because obviously McTominay is a doubt for this game. McTominay has been out of a knock. Christian Eriksen, he is out until April or early May with an ankle injury. Van der Beek, of course, is out for the season. Well, he won't start anywhere. Uh, Fred, of course, he played against Barcelona. He played really well, to his credit. You know, he did have a good chance in the game. Played against Leeds at Ellen Road last weekend. I don't think he was too good, but he put a better performance out than he did in the game at Old Trafford against Leeds. Uh, Sabitzer, he obviously played no part against Barcelona uh, because of suspension. Uh, Sibitza and Martinez were both suspended for the game against Barcelona. As you all know, Man United have got Sibitza on loan until the end of the season. There's no option or obligation to buy. Uh, but Marcel Sibitza is open to a permanent Man United move. Man United did get him from Bayern Munich. In the number 10, I'm going to go with Bruno Fernandes. He played against Barcelona on Thursday night at the Nou Camp. 
he was playing on the right hand side which is an unfamiliar role for Fernandez because he's predominantly number 10. It was while Wegars playing as the number 10 against Barca Lona. But I do think Fernandez will be back in the number 10 in this game. On the left hand side, I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford. Uh, Marcus Rashford, as you all know, scored against Barcelona. He scored at the near post. Rashford now has 22 goals in all competitions this season. What a season he's enjoying. This is his best season as a United player. Rashford, like I mentioned, should have had more than the one goal against Barcelona because he had other shots in the game. He had a very good chance in the first half that produced a good save from Gistegen. As you all know, Rashford scored against Leeds last weekend. It was a good header that came from Luke Shaw's cross. He scored in the game against Leeds at Old Trafford as well. So, yeah. On the right wing, I'm going to go with Jaden Sancho. Because uh, Anthony is still out with injury. Ganacho is an option. So he could actually start. Uh, Ganacho didn't start against Barcelona. He came on as a substitute. Ganacho, don't forget, came off the bench and scored in the 2 0 win against Leeds at Elland Road. Uh, as for Jaden Sancho. He started against Leeds last weekend. That was his first start since like September or October. Uh, Jaden Sancho scored against Leeds at Old Trafford. He came off the bench and scored the equaliser on his Premier League return after nearly four months out. I think in that game, though, Ten Hag should have actually started Jaden Sancho. And up top, I'm going to go with. Wout Wagost. Uh, Martial, of course, is still out with injury. Wagost, like I mentioned, was playing in number 10 against Barca. Should have scored as well. He had a very good chance from pretty close range. Produced a good save from Tistergen. So that's how I think Man United will line up against Leicester tomorrow. Now, obviously, you know the news on the Qataris, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Qatar confirm a bid has been submitted for Man United. It's be the offer is believed to be in the region of, like, five billion. Uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. And an EOS confirm bid, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has joined Qataris in the race to buy Manchester United. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's been interested in buying the club for quite some time. He's Britain's richest man. He's the chairman of Ineos. Elon Musk, not so long ago, was preparing a £4.5 billion offer. Saudi Arabians recently entered the race to buy Man United. Man United should have new owners by Easter. Uh, the Glazers announced in November last year that the club was up for sale. And since then, Man United have had a lot of interest. The Glazers have owned Man United for 17 years. They bought the club for around £790 million back in 2005. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless.